Want to know how we transformed this ugly wellhead into this working well? Stick around, we'll show you how we did it. The first thing I'm going to do is set my stop clock up to 23 three quarters. And I'm glad I got this long liner saw station. It makes it so much easier to cut this long stock. I bought this outdoor decking wood, 10 foot lengths. I'm going to need eight of these. Now I'm going to put these together my standard way I've been doing all my legs. Then I'll use my corner clamps to help me out. For these next cuts, I need it to be 26. And I need eight of those. Okay, let's put the frame together. On these legs, you have a, a short side and a long side. I put the short sides together. And on, on these, the lengths of all these boards are the same. So I'm going to get it flush with the top and square. Then I'll pre-drill and I'll put two and a half inch screws in. <laughs> okay, I'll do that for the other short side and I'll be right back. Okay, there's a couple different ways you can put this together. I'm going to pre-drill these holes. Pre-drill and countersink. Forty-three and a quarter. Forty-three and a quarter. Good. Okay, it's time to cut the cedar slats. I'm going to cut those at twenty-three and three quarters, two at a time. going to go in like this. That's how I drew it up. The form would fit on each side. Now you could screw these in. Probably use an inch and five eighths screws. I'm going to use my staple gun and drive one inch galvanized staples in. A lot easier. Use my staple gun. Now I'll just go around and do the other three sides. Before I put the last wall on, I'm going to put in the roof supports in here first. It'll be easier to get in here and screw them in. So let me go ahead and get those cut. Two by fours to 82 inches. It may be a little tall. We'll see. I'll, I'll put it up there and see how I like it. Okay, I'm going to mark it inch and three quarters. Miter saws at 45. This is the hard part, getting it squared of the fence. I'm going to sneak up on that mark. Create an arrow. Just 
Gonna get a couple small clamps, make this a little easier. Sure this thing's plumb. Okay, I'm gonna drill them in. Two small pieces that are cut at 45s. Put in here, keep the box square. As we move it around, I don't want it to go out of square, so it'll stiffen it up and make sure it stays where it's at. I designed it so these pieces right here are 24 inches. So let me show you how I do that. I cut it at a 45 here. I'll put my stop block in, 24 inches. Now for this one, the cuts have to be going the same way. That'll give me the 24 inches from this point to this point. And I need four of those. Now I need two of those at 37 and a half. This side of my miter workbench only goes to 37 inches, so unfortunately, I have to put the stop block on this side. And I'm working with this longer wood. No problem. Okay, two at 37 and a half, and four at 24. Well, these are basically going to be the rafters. I go up against the support. So I'm going to put it together and then I'll, I'll screw it onto that. The way I'm going to do that, so I'm just going to screw this, pre-drill these, and then put them up there. This thing is beefy. So I know I need a four and a half inch overhang. I'm going to make this flush with the other side and then the other one I'll bring up and tack right onto here. Again, I'm using my one inch galvanized staples. You could use screws, nails. Just make sure it's outdoor rated. For this side, I'm going to make the top of this overlap this one. I'm actually standing on, on it right now and it's pretty solid. I'm going to fill this area with some more pickets. Yeah, I think it'll look a lot better. Maybe I'll put some trim up there. I'll measure this, cut a 45 on each side and see if it fits. Okay, I'm going to cut two of these. The measurement is 30 and a half inches, so I'll cut the 45 first and then we'll get precise with it. Now I'll set my stop block to 30 and a half. Go to my other 45 degree stop. Fits nicely. Now I know the other long measurements are going to be this measurement here. So I'll cut my next board with that measurement. So I did take six inches off the length of these, make it a little shorter, and I coated the ends of all these boards with a uh, end coat stain.
Hey! Almost done. That is fantastic. No one got this big spade, inch and a half. You gotta be careful with these things. They, they're real wrist breakers if you're not careful. careful. Type bond three because it's going to go outside. Okay, we'll put some spar urethane on here. Covered everything with it. Oh boy. <laughs> Maybe that should have made this a little shorter. That's okay, it's for decorative anyway. It's not like I'm gonna use these things. I'll leave a link in the description for drawings, SketchUp files, and PDF files so you can download them. Everything you need for making one of these. Be sure to like and subscribe below, and I appreciate your support, thanks.